Booker. Blocked by Butler. Take it. Oh. Butler pulls back. One on one with Tatum. Backing in, spins, falling away. It's good. Jimmy Butler. Down 10 with five minutes left and on the brink of giving up home court advantage. Jimmy Butler did that. 56 points, which is a career high. Most points in playoff franchise history and the greatest playoff performance ever by a Heat player. In today's video, we're taking my playoff Hemi build, two-way mid-range shooter to the one score. Let's take a look at the stats. A 9-9 overall two-way mid-range shooter consists of an 84 dunk, which allows us to have similar limitless takeoff. Since the ball handling is kind of low, I put up the post control to 87 to give us gold quick first step. 80 mid-range and a 74 3 wheel is plenty in honor of Jimmy Buckets himself. I put on a Jimmy Butler jump shot. I've used this jump shot as a spot up before, but never as a ball handler, so this will be interesting. I sacrificed some playmaking to go crazy on defense, but the playmaking still gets the job done as we still get the MJ dribble style with 75 speed with ball. Defense is looking absolutely cracked with an 86 perimeter, 86 steal, 99 block, and an 85 rebounding. First game and our opponent averages 18 points per game? Wow. Alright, we are Jimmy Butler, so no points for him this game. Okay, okay, so he starts 3-0. He tries to left-right cheese me, but I'm all over that and forced to stop in the paint. I clear up the ball and spin past him for the emphatic dunk. I pull the ball back, drive to my right, spin back for the open shot. I instantly get ripped. My opponent tries to step it back for a jump shot, but I'm all over that. I grab the board and he fouls me. This dude's defense is only spamming square as I soar over him for the dunk. I messed around and in doing so gave the ball back. I'm all over my opponent's offense and get another stop. I clear the ball and post spin for two easy points. Post take remains to be broken this year and is super useful on a build with a low ball handling as I have various ways to score. I feel out my defender and surprise him with the Austin Rivers post hop shot. I break my jump shot, my opponent grabs the board and he clears it. He tries to rim run, but I sent that flying. Look at the vertical. I continue locking this guy up. I get the ball back and put him back in the post and shoot a post fade to push the lead to 18 to 9. My opponent starts spamming on me as we both can sense the end is near. Once again, I lock up my opponent. Your fighter. I avoid the blitz and try to shoot it instantly when I clear the ball, but I'm not used to the jump shot and I miss. But all good. I swarm my opponent and get a clutch steal to take us home. I ended up looking at his build and man's had a 99 steal. No wonder all he was doing was spamming his life away. Dude also had a 92 perimeter, but we still scored on him with ease on a very non-meta build. Next game we are playing a TikToker averaging 13 points per game. He starts off with the ball, we get a pluck but he recovers the ball. He does too much dribbling trying to look for a rim run so I play back and force him to shoot. Just as I expected he missed and I grab the board. I drive left and surprise my opponent with the spin jumper for the big Gurine. Buddy tries to play my hip so I speed boost past him for the easy dunk. I surprise my defender again with the triple threat spin into a step back. I drive, spin back, he jumps at me driving to the paint but the game makes him jump at me at the 3. So I drive by and lay it up over him. I try to post him up but he gets a back pluck. 
all good. I have my log take. He walks it back and I rip him right back. I slow it down, take him to the post, post him up again, and spin around him for the bucket. I fake the step back hop jumper, and then I drive to my left and step it back again for the big green A. Bro rips me again while I'm posting him up. Luckily, I'm able to recover the ball, but I lost my dribble. All good, I get insane space from the Kobe post fade and score. I notice my defender sagging for the rim run, so I fade to the midi. As you guys can see, scoring on this build is no issue at all. The midi will feel like butter, and with the right jump shot, you can even be consistent with the 74 3 ball. I felt like spicing things up with the Jimmy Butler jump shot, but Osha Brissett would go great with the 74 3. The defense is way too advanced to guard small guards, 6 9s, and even bigger post scorers. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. Like always, if you made this far, comment buddy. Much love and board man out.